you will know for yourself if the pastor or whoever's preaching is chatting from the bum crack, chatting from the culture bum crack, or just chatting from the word of God. If you're holding your culture and your social norms higher than the word of God, we're not going there, ever. Nope, thank you. <laughs> Lord, you made a way, yeah. It ain't all been rosy. Yeah, I've been going through some things. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ruth and we are back with another video today. As you can see, we've been talking about church for a long time now, but luckily, don't worry, this will be the last one for a very long time. And this is just the four tips that I have um, gathered together in basically how to find a church and how to find the right church for you. So number one, of course, you guys should know is to pray. Ask God to show you the right church that you should go to. Ask God to go ahead of you when you're looking for churches as well. So he should prepare the best place for you. And also, in, when you're praying about it, you have to be like, okay, God, you take control and put me in the best place for me, not necessarily where I wanna go because sometimes where we want to go isn't necessarily the place that God wants us to be because he sees the future and see he sees what is going to happen so we might think a church is great now but in like two months time it could be like the worst thing for us or we might meet the wrong people there so just when you're praying just make sure that you're committing the fact that you're looking for a church into God's hands and that you are willing to just follow and be where he wants you to be also when you're praying and stuff like that listen to the holy spirit because for example the church that i go to now that i know that this is where god wants me to be at there was a time when god was like don't go to that church for three weeks and i was like oh like what what does that say anaya what no what like I was so confused because I was like, this is my church. Like this is this is the church I feel comfortable in. It's ticking all the boxes. This is amazing. And you're telling me not to go. Like why would you not let me go to that church? But I think it was because God wanted me to understand that it's His voice that I should follow rather than mine, and wanted to make sure that I knew that if God hasn't confirmed this place for me yet, I should not go there. And it did teach me that because I was trying to fight the fact that I didn't want to go and it made me realize that look even though i may think this church is amazing for me if god still hasn't given me the green light then i need to be able to sit down and be still and even if i don't understand why he's not saying yes now um am i willing to follow god's voice rather than where i think and what i feel and stuff like that so follow god's voice and just trust in him and the holy spirit that wherever he leads you is the best place for you the second thing is identify your non-negotiables these are the things that's going to shape what you look at when you go to a church and make sure that you're focused as well as still being open-minded so my non-negotiables were whether they were preaching the word of god and if it was the sound word of god second thing was the people there could i feel accepted included and was there like a family vibe for me specifically that's the kind of thing that i look at third thing was um could i invite a non-believer to that church and will i be comfortable inviting them um some churches are really good and they're really amazing but the way their culture is is not very inviting to somebody who does not have a christian background and for me that is really important that i go to a church where i would be comfortable inviting somebody who didn't believe in god to the service and not feel like anxious that they're gonna feel like they're unaccepted or like people are staring at them like I didn't want that so that's one thing that was important to me and the fourth thing was that could I serve in that church could I be part of a ministry um, or a group there in terms of like either being like an usher or being the choir and for me that's only really important because in my last church that I went to I was part of the youth band and I really enjoyed that and I really felt like that was me using my gifts to God's glory so I wanted to go to a church that did not have some kind of like elitist program that would not make it possible for me to be involved in that church. And I use that to basically help me decide on whether a church was great for me. You gotta make sure that your non-negotiables are things that are rooted in the Bible and not based upon culture. Cause if it's like my church has to be diverse or something like that, those are incredibly important. But if you're gonna shut down a church just because you're the only black person there or like praise and worship was dead, um, you might be missing out on where God wants you to be in because he wants you to change that in that church, you know what I mean? So just have non-negotiables that are rooted in the word and it should hopefully be very easy to decide whether um, you should be there or not. And third thing I would say is that when you're visiting churches, go at least two times. Um, maybe like one is like a special service that they have, maybe like a worship night or like an event or something they're holding on. And then go to like a normal everyday Sunday service that they have. And then I feel like maybe after two or three times in that church, you would be able to have a good well-rounded view on how the church operates, what they do 
how the people are, things like that. Obviously, there are some churches that you go the first time and your Holy Spirit is telling you, get out, don't ever come to this place again. Or like, you can already tell that this is not the place for you. That's fine, I'm not saying keep on going and just put yourself, put your spirit and yourself in an uncomfortable situation. But if it's like the average church, there's nothing necessarily immediately wrong and your spirit is not like grieved when you enter the building then go at least two or three times so you can get a well-rounded view on it also go with an open mind i know that sometimes when we've had bad experiences in the past with churches we go to a church service and we're just scrutinizing everybody looking at everybody thinking you like the way they did that why are they taking card out offering time da -da -da -da. and when you're judging you can't really take in a full view and a well-rounded view so try and go with an open mind and read your bible pray every day if you want to grow if you want if you want to grow if you want to grow read your bible pray every day pray every Okay, I'm going to stop now. But yeah, read your Bible. Read your Bible, especially if you're a new believer as well and you're looking for a church. Because when you read your Bible, you will know what is in the Bible and what is not in the Bible. Sometimes pastors and people preach and they've kind of mixed culture with the Word of God. And if you don't know your Bible, you won't be able to know that, like, for example, in the Bible, it doesn't say three wise men, it just says wise men. But because they gave three gifts, everyone just says the three wise men. But you won't, you won't be able to know that if you didn't read the Bible. And that's like a very small, insignificant case because in terms of the big picture, whether it was three or five or 25 doesn't make a big difference. But that's just an example of how like if you don't read your bible you won't know what the actual specific facts is like it wasn't a whale that swallowed jonah it was just a fish but we assume it's a whale because it's a big fish you know so like read your bible so when you go to churches and stuff like that your spirit will know and you will know for yourself if the pastor or whoever's preaching is chatting from the bum crack chatting from the culture bum crack or just chatting from the word of god and that's really important because like i said that should be a non-negotiable don't go to a church if the praise and worship is lit and whatever but when they're preaching it's not good like it's just not touching you or it's not like it's just not sound word of god like praise and worship is amazing and i totally understand that and i think if you come from a pentecostal background it's like it has to be sick and amazing but if the word of god is bad then you're going to church for a concert and that is not what church is meant to be so that is my top tips one make sure that you pray before you go and let god go ahead of you and commit your church finding into his hands two identify your non-negotiables and make sure that those are the things that you look for when you're going to churches three go with an open mind and visit churches at least more than one time so you can get a well-rounded view and four make sure you read your bible so you know what is the truth and you know what is fake because like bible does say there are many false prophets about and they're going to be lingering and they're going to be in churches but if you know the word of god then you'll be able to decipher when someone's preaching from the word of god and when someone's just moving mad <laughs> so yeah i wish you all the best of luck and yeah i'll see you in my next video thank you for watching bye